Now, I can't be the only person who's missing those concerts, those live performances. You know, there's just something about when you're together in the crowd and seeing that live performance, it just fills you up. You know, it's a big thing we've been missing throughout the pandemic and the folks at the Virginia Arts Festival, they know that. And so they're trying to at least fill the gap some with the new Bank Street stage, which yes, opens tonight. And we were able to visit last week as they were putting up the tent, putting up the stage, getting a chance to check out the venue in advance, right? So the stage, as I mentioned, under a big tent right on Bank Street in downtown Norfolk. And here through the spring, Virginia Arts Festival will host all kinds of live entertainment. Americana musician Oliver Wood, he is scheduled to take the stage tonight at 730, the very first act at the Bank Street stage. Social distancing and masks will be required. No surprise there. The Arts Festival tells me they've had this in the works really at least the last six months trying to figure out what to do with at least some of the 90 scheduled performances that never happened last spring. In a great way we were able to reschedule some of those performances which you'll see here in the Bank Street stage um, and we were able to, to work with artists that are hungry to get back on the road. Artists you know haven't worked in 13 months either so it's nice to be able to have a safe space to be able to present concerts again. So percussionist Zakir Hussein, he's scheduled to take the stage tomorrow night, followed by the Virginia Stage Company and Norfolk State University Theater Company partnering together for a stage show. So lots of exciting events on tap here. All tickets can be bought ahead of time at the Virginia Arts Festival website. Now coming up, I'm going to dive a little bit more into some of the measures that uh, the Virginia Arts Festival is taking for safety at the Bank Street stage, including the unique way they're going to be sitting people together to uh, maintain social distancing. Pretty cool what they've come up with. We'll have that for you uh, a little bit later here on News 3.